Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking about different paint tube labels and how to read them. Hopefully this video helps you get a better understanding about what your paint tube is telling you. If this video does end up helping you, let me know by leaving a like down below. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to read the different labels on your watercolor paint tubes. And when it comes to paint tubes, there are many different sizes like 5 milliliter, 8 milliliter, 14 milliliter, and even 21 milliliters. There's also paints inside these little containers called half pans. You can buy them with paint or you can buy them empty and fill your own paint into them. Often, but not all the time, do these half pans have more pigment than the watercolor paint tubes. There are two different types of watercolor paints when buying from Winsor & Newton. The first type is Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolor, and the second type is Winsor & Newton Coatman Watercolor, which is their student grade. The student grades are often cheaper than the professional watercolors. Now let's get into learning how to read the labels on your paint tubes. The first paint we will be looking at today is Winsor & Newton's Professional Watercolor Paints. Starting off with the color preview. This is supposed to tell you what the color looks like, and it is often inaccurate. Next, we have the color names. This paint, it is Terra Verde Yellow Shade. English version, French version, and Spanish version. Next, we have the brand name and logo, this one being Winsor Newton. Here, it will tell you if it is professional watercolor or student-grade watercolor, Cotman. The difference between professional and Cotman is that Cotman has more binder and less pigment. Next up, we have the permanence. This is how durable or lasting a paint is over time. Now we have the series. The series can be 1 through 4 or A through E. The series is the cost grouping. And this is the paint volume. This is how much paint the tube holds. This one is 5 milliliters or 0.17 US fluid ounces. Let's take a look at the back. This little symbol tells you that you should recycle the paint tube once you are finished. Next up is the barcode. These words are the manufacturer's address and information. This is the light fastness. This means how resistant a paint tube is when exposed to light. Then we have the pigment info. This one being PG23. That means pigment green 23. Next up is the color opacity. This tells you how transparent or opaque the paint is. And there's four different types. The first one being transparent, semi-transparent, semi-opaque, and opaque. I really recommend checking out the color opacity before you buy any specific paint. Um, it's helped me save a lot of money, and I hope it can help you save money too. When you buy paint pans, they also come with little labels in the packaging, but I don't have any because I threw them away. So that video will be coming soon. Once you learn what most of this stuff means, it kind of just gets easier. And no matter what kind of paint you have, you can figure out what the labels mean. Just like the last one, this is the color preview, and it tells you what the color is supposed to look like. These are the names of the paint in English, French, and Spanish. This tells you what type of paint this is, Cotman, which is their student grade paints. This is the series, which can be 1 through 4 and A through E. Still the price grouping. Now we have the paint volume, 5 milliliters or 0.17 US fluid ounces. Something that's different with the Cotman rather than the professional is that the permanence is on the back side of the tube. Then there's the brand name and logo. This AP symbol means approved product, meaning it is like non-toxic and is not harmful. This is the manufacturer's address and info. Again, once you know what's on it, you can tell just by looking at it what the stuff is. It's all just the same stuff, just a little scrambled around in different places. Now here I'm going to skip over the 14 milliliter and the 8 milliliter, just because, again, it's all the same stuff in just different places. But we're still going to look at the Daniel Smith and the 21 milliliter. This is Winsor Newton's Coatman Watercolor 21 milliliters. So here we have the brand name and logo, the Coatman watercolor. Here we have the names in English, French, and Spanish. And down here we have the series, the volume. And now let's look at the back side. We got the barcode, the manufacturer's address and info. This here is the permanence. And if you ever see this, make sure to read it. It is telling you that this paint may not be safe. It'll say don't ingest it, don't put it on skin, or even inhaling it might be dangerous. And if you have paint, make sure that it says either approved product or read how it can be hazardous and harmful to you. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the Daniel Smith 15 milliliter. You got the name of the paint, 
the brand name and logo and the volume. And on the back, we have the pigment info and what looks to be some manufacturer information. And it has the approved product symbol, so we know it's not hazardous and can be used freely. On the left side, we have the manufacturer information and address. And once you know what's on this stuff, it's pretty easy to just look around and see what all this stuff means and how it works. Most of the paints these days are vegan, but some aren't. And like this color here, ivory black, was or still is made of charred animal bones that have been crushed down and used as like the pigment to color this paint. I don't know if this one specifically is, and I think it's kind of cool, but a lot of people aren't okay with that kind of stuff. But if you have a brush and you see like it's made of animal fur or like a paint that's made of animal like bones, um, throwing it away is not really going to do much. Um, I'd say just use it. You might be uncomfortable with it, but um, do whatever you want. Yeah, that basically concludes this video. I really hope you learned some of this stuff and now you know how to read labels on your paint tube. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, like, maybe subscribe.